Hey there, uh, RC uh, geeks, enthusiasts, and uh, uh, addicts. This is RC Mechanic, and today we're going to do uh, what we're going to do is uh, install this Castle Sidewinder 3 into the Wraith. Okay? Now, here's the old ESC. Um, actually, it's not from this truck, it's from a different truck. Uh, it's actually from the D413 and well we ran it underwater too much and uh, even though it's supposed to be waterproof it wasn't quite so. So this ESC is bad but what I'm going to do is uh, well what I was originally going to do was go ahead and run all new wire so I bought some wire I bought some uh, bullet ends and uh, I was going to just run new wire, but <clears throat> the the Conexus uh, 4000 kV motor that's in the uh, Wraith is, uh, is still good and everything's color coordinated so I figure why not just take this one apart I'll take off what I need or might use later and uh, integrate it into the castle meaning I will take these wires right here and uh, take it apart cut it as close as possible um, to the board and uh, solder them into these posts right here okay so I had put these in here at first thinking I was going to use them but I don't think I'm going to now the best connection is a soldered connection um, has the least amount of resistance uh, and uh, so you get more amperage out of your battery direct so having uh, you know bullet connectors right here and bullet connectors right here would not be ideal the ideal thing would be to have solder connectors here and just the bullet connecting to the motor so let's start with uh, taking the fan off because I know that works um, I know that works because um, when I turned it on that's about the only thing that did work so let's take this fan off okay so on ESC's they basically go here's A, B, and C right so I'm assuming on the castle as the same. A being here, B and C. Right? So with that, I'm going to cut that as close as I can. So there's A. I'm going to use my soldering gun here. Heat up the end. There you go, one end tinned. Okay. I'm going with what uh, I think I know. I'm going to attach that to post A. Putting some flux in here. Basically, fill this cavity. Yeah. 
Okay? You can let go any time now. Okay, so where's my wire? like that. Alright. Looks pretty easy, doesn't it? Got a little over the edge here. I can clean that up with the soldering gun. Just a little bit. Okay, so there you have it three soldered ends. Actually that last one turned out better than the first two. Now if I wanted to, <clears throat> I'd go ahead and uh, slide some heat shrink down here, uh, but there really is no uh, chance of anything touching. So I'm just going to leave that alone. The next part is going to be put the end on. on there and where did I put my Dean's connector here it is all right so I put the Dean's connector in my little holdy thing and uh, One thing about these is that they do indicate what is plus and what is minus. So your positive wire goes to the red, which is the horizontal plug. And for this, I'm going to use some heat shrink. Electrical tape is fine, but it just does not, it's not the same. Make sure to slide these all the way down. I'm using red on both because at the very end I know what color is what anyway. So, let's go ahead and solder these up. So, slide this and that up as much as we can. Find my torch. is really old by the way. So sometimes I don't like to light. Got that done. I'm going to take a little bit of that uh, liquid electrical tape just because I'm not really happy with the, how far up the heat shrink goes. So we're going to just put some of that on there. Kind of weird. All right, there you are. One end. Almost ready to install it. Try it out. I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes and come back to it. One thing about liquid electrical tape: it doesn't take very long to dry. Alright everyone, uh, so I got the ESC down in here, I got everything all plugged in, right up in here into the receiver. Uh, I originally had the steering and the throttle backwards, so that was interesting. But anyway, 
<clears throat> so let's go ahead and test this out and uh, just keep in mind that this has not been programmed yet so um, so here we go all right so we have steering as you can see okay I got some wires backwards. I'm coming backwards. All right, so let's fix that real quick. I have everything running in the right direction now. So uh, you can see I got my steering, right? And and when you go to hit the throttle, you barely touch it. And it's moving. There is no proportions. As far as and then, then you got <laughs> holy shit, man. <laughs> I mean, holy crap, man. All right, so on a three cell, this thing is awesome. Uh, what I what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna put a smaller pinion on here because really we don't need to go that fast, not in this rig. Um, and we're trying to make it more crawlable, right? and have it be brushless. So, won't have enough time to do a run today, but I just want to say, uh, hey, if you liked what you saw today, you know the routine. Give me a like, click, subscribe, leave a comment if you have one, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you guys.